All right, so this is going to be me before the workout. And this is how I look after the workout. Aruba. So I bet all you guys out there are wondering who the fuck I am and where the fuck I came from and the fuck am I doing on your TV screen? Well, a lot of you already know me, my backstory and everything about me, but 99.999% of you out there don't know who the fuck I am or my backstory at all. And this is, you know, I guess better, you know, no better time than now than to you know story time so let's do story time today all right so long story short or short story long or whatever um, you know the basics are already covered I'm Cuban I'm from Miami and I'm in Seattle okay now how did I get here and all this other stuff okay so let's just start with a you know very very beginning you know my parents they were both um, you know Cuban and they came here, you know, late 70s, early 80s, you know. Um, they met. They had some fun. Wah, wah, wah. I came out a little while later. Wah. <laughs> My sister came out. Bada bing, bada boom, you know. So that was that. And, you know, we lived like, you know, the American dream life, family life, you know. All, you know, all the way through my childhood and stuff like that, I was able to you know, um, experience, you know, the kitchen in a restaurant, you know, from a very young age because, you know, my dad was involved with uh, with a restaurant and all that stuff. At the same time, you know, my other part of the family, you know, my cousins and all that stuff, they were all like professional photographers and videographers and my dad as well. And, and at the end, you know, I was always involved in all that. I was a very curious kid. I was always very involved with all that stuff. Um, technology, you know, uh, back then, you know, which is, you know, the stuff that they had or, you know, video games, you know, which was like the early Nintendo. And, and you know I was always involved you know with the first computers I remember my first uh, computer was a 386 you know I don't know if you guys the old schoolers you know watching this you know know what I'm talking about but um yeah I mean you know I've really you know since, since very young I was always surrounded by all this stuff you know and then like I said food on the side I was always surrounded by cooking and and what you know all that stuff so you know as time went on you know I graduated high school um, I did, you know, I was like smarts and stuff, you know, so I was able to, you know, get like a scholarship and stuff like that. I went to school, I went to culinary school because, you know, I was working in the industry already. I had something I loved and I wanted to sit behind a desk. Um, I got a business degree, I got a culinary degree and, you know, all this other, you know, you know, the frou-frou stuff, you know, the, you know, employers like. But, um, yeah, at the end of the day, you know, just like any other job or career or art or, you know, passion or love, you know, it's, you know, some people have it, some people don't, you know what I mean? So, like, I had it, you know, like, I was just a natural born leader, cook, and all that stuff. So, you know, you know, the education only enhanced and helped, and I was able to do a lot, you know, as to, you know, make a lot of money for a lot of people, you know, well, you know, while, you know, starting their restaurants or just, you know, helping them rebuild or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, or just you know working for them you know and at the same time then I started working from my own and I started my own business I had my own catering business everything was going well it was going great bam the economy tanked in around 2008 and all of a sudden I had to figure you know out what the hell I was going to do because I lost everything everything from my home to my business to my jobs to just everything I had nothing so I tried to rebuild we you know try to you know get everything back together but at last after you know several years and after a while it, it was just going backwards and you know pretty much I was left with nothing I was like uh, you know desolate you know from having a lot of stuff and working very hard to you know to get everything to to living on back on my mom's couch you know which was pretty eye-opening and pretty, pretty terrifying and you know whatever but at the end of the day hey this wasn't the first time this, 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 this wasn't the worst time but it was just um, you know, it was just once too many, you know, so, you know, the, the back wasn't broken. I was able to get up off, off my feet. Um, the businesses didn't succeed, you know. Um, I was trying to open up a food truck and do other stuff too, but that didn't work. The economy was too bad. And nothing. I, I just, you know, I hadn't, I didn't have much left. Um, I had just two, two jobs, you know, working at the zoo. <laughs> 
my, the, the Miami Metro Zoo and working at like some bookstore, some like really high class, you know, ish, you know, Starbucks, you know, and I was like the chef working, you know, in the back doing food. But and I just, you know, quit both those jobs and, you know, sold the few things that I had, you know, a few things of restaurant equipment that I had from my, from my restaurant, you know, from the from the catering uh, company and all that stuff and then you know I sold my car and that's it packed two bags and carry on <laughs> and you know flew my ass out here with you know the money about six thousand dollars something like that and that barely 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 through my teeth got me through to to where I am now to where we are now and that's it I mean you know after that I got here worked several jobs you know, until I eventually, like, uh, I was at this one dream job and that didn't work out very well. And I decided I needed a change. I needed a career change, a life change, or something change, you know. That's what I came up here for. Um, became an entrepreneur, you know, helping others, you know, succeed and, you know, build their businesses, you know, just knowing what I know about business. And bam, here I am. That's it. You know, now I'm making, you know, YouTube videos for fun and I'm really, like, enjoying life. and. Life is fucking awesome and wonderful and great and I'm just doing this so that maybe someone can watch me and be like, damn, I want to be awesome too, like my own right, and get inspired and just do it. So that's it. Otherwise, you know, whatever. Otherwise, I'm just making the videos to make them because they're fun. So yeah, that's story time, I guess. <laughs> that was, I usually talk a lot and that was, I'm, I'm very proud of myself. You know, I was able to condense all that, you know. Hopefully it was very, you know, it was... Uh, intelligible for you guys and you guys could understand everything I said but yeah that was like the super duper short very short condensed version of my life my autobiography and I'm sorry if this keeps shaking I just noticed because you know this is a very table you know very loose table whatever so eesh, I apologize for that hope it's not too shaky but if it is hey at least <laughs> it'll give some you know something uh, to keep you entertained look at the background there yeah, why not, right? When I come up here and show. So anyway, that's that. Let's see what else we can do today. No more story time. It's over. Los videos son míos de YouTube, a lo mejor se ve si se empira y hace algo parecido. No sé, porque no tiene ni mucho chance, porque si nadie está trabajando y está en... No sé si estará, me imagino yo, que estoy estudiando algo para la farmacia, porque ya que le dieron la oportunidad esa, de aprovecharla, porque los farmacéuticos le dan para bien. Yeah. Y entonces, eh, por lo menos asistente de farmacia, tú sabes, no o sea, más técnico, porque eso es más, doctor, es más una carrera larga, pero...